Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today is the first in a short series of box making videos. I'm going to be doing a few different packaging ideas. This one is the first one and it's a rather unusual box. Very clever. And the reason I'm doing these is because I saw some boxes in a store and I thought Hmm, okay, I wonder how those are made. And I thought to myself, it shouldn't be too difficult to design it. I was able to open the box and see what sort of folds were there. And I thought, well, it doesn't look that complicated, I'll give it a shot. Actually, I was wrong, it was fairly complicated and it took me several days to actually get a working model. I've got this done as an SVG and the file is cut and scored with my silver bullet. So the first thing to do when it's done is to fold all the score lines and to go over them with a bone folder where applicable. Now I say where applicable because there are some score lines on here that you will not be able to use a bone folder on. And then we have these, which can't be done with a bone folder, we have these curved lines. Now, as long as they are scored properly, you should find that you can just pinch them together. There are little score lines at the top here, which you can press, and then you simply thumb and finger do the other lines, and you'll get them to into place relatively easily but they do need a good score so if you're scoring it on a machine and you can't exert enough pressure go over it with a manual scoring tool something like that will do just fine to make sure you get those folds put into place and now again these thumb finger squeeze putting a finger behind it thumb finger squeeze. Now they do not go to that corner there. They stop about a centimetre, three quarters of a centimetre from that corner. And the reason for that is if they went to the corner you would lose this sort of more rounded shape on the edge. It would be sharper. So. Now I need to put tape on here and tape on here, tape on here and tape on here. And I've put another tape reel in my dispenser because it's got the different width double sided tape, which is the correct width for this particular tab, which makes putting it together a bit easier. You need to make sure that the entire length of that, that's rubbing on the other side, is covered with tape because if you don't it won't be able to take the stress that the curvature on the box gives it. So put one side on like that. Now this one isn't quite truly vertical so make sure you put it up to the crease. It goes in very very slightly. So fold it over and first of all make this one line up that edge there and then again fold it very carefully to make sure those two edges line up at the corner because it isn't quite vertical. Now with this one what you want to do is stick the bottom of the box together first. Now to construct it you press in at the corners and that brings those shapes in. It's rather like a milk carton shape at the top. And that one goes in and that one goes in. Now you take two edges, pinch them together and in like that to create your box. And that's it, it's done. You could add a flower or something on the top of it if you wanted to. You could put a nice bow on the top, 
but the box itself is created and it will close. Now if you push it all the way in like that, you can see inside the box, so you don't want to push it down too far. Unless, of course, you're going to put tissue paper on top of whatever you've put inside. In that case, you could get away with it. But you just need to have that delicate balance so that it's closed. Just like that. So the file will be linked below. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.